Welcome back to another reading vlog. My name is Lachlan. If you're new here, this is my booktube. I have some packages to open, so let's just open them. Why does it feel so small? I ordered an extra large. Did I order an extra large? I thought I ordered bigger. Oh, this is so freaking cute. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. You can barely see it, but it says probably reading Sarah J. Mass, and it's like a light pink. It's super cute. I love this. It's currently, is it Monday? No, it's Tuesday. It is January 31st, so I thought I would start a new vlog. Okay. Um, this is, you guys don't care about this. This is like a thing for my Nespresso. I literally don't even know what's in these packages. But you don't care about this either. <laughs> this is a self tanning thing that I'm trying out or that I'm going to try out. I haven't tried it yet. It's like, I don't know. Some of these have to be bookish, but I like cannot remember which ones. Okay, this is also not bookish, but these are precision uh, scissors. If you can see how sharp that is. God, this is gonna be the most random vlog. I will tell you what I'm reading from my book of the month box. I got two books. One of them is not in here, it's upstairs, and I can't remember what the name is, but it's like a thriller. It's in my February TBR, but uh, Hellvents. I'm currently reading Obsessed so far. I started it last night, I'm 100 pages in, and it's actually so good. So I'm about to go on a live show with uh, my friends Amanda and Sarah, and we're going to talk about Indigo Ridge, which is the book I read, one of the books I read in January. But yeah, I'm loving Hellvent so far, so I don't know what this is either but we're just gonna open it oh oh, oh th this is bookish this is not bookish this is a sports bra if you're wondering and then these are stickers these are like sarah j mass stickers so i'm not doing a very good job showing you oh that that one is cute but yeah these were like ten dollars on amazon and i was like okay we're gonna get those <laughs> what am i gonna use them for i don't fucking know i'll figure it out oh look at that look at that one aelin and rowan so yeah these are just super cute also i know this is not my normal vlogging videoing spot but all the packages were downstairs and i was like i'm not i don't feel like moving them i have another one this one is bookish i know for a fact <sighs> okay freaking cut into this with my mini scissors. Okay, I'm really excited for this. I am obsessed. Look at this. Look at it. It is a Kindle. I mean, this is the same brand as my other Kindle case. So this case right here, same brand as this one. Did I need it? The next book I'm going to read on my Kindle is Final Offer, which is like kind of Disney themed. At least the first two books are. So I'm probably going to still use my Disney sleeve for that. But this is super freaking cute. If you're not aware, this is from Akatar. I also have another one coming in the mail because I have a problem. So yeah, I also have these to open. This is my Throne of Glass dust jackets. I'm not gonna take them out right now because I wanna put them on the books. Oh my gosh, I can't even open it. Anyway, these are gonna be really, really pretty. I'm super excited. Okay, so then I have this little box. How freaking cute is this mug? So this is from Bookish Babe. 
Babe, bookish, bookish, babe, something babe, bookish, I think it's bookish babe. Book babe designs. This is a Valentine's theme bookish mug. I'm excited to use this. Put some espresso in there, some whipped cream. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek to my next book haul. I need to have another book haul coming up soon because there have been more books that have just arrived. You know, it's like, I don't know who's buying them. I mean, it's definitely me. Anyways, so yeah, I got a Diary of Blood from the Bookish Box. I got it secondhand. It's really, really pretty. I'm like obsessed with it. If you haven't read a Diary of Blood, why? Tell me why. I read it in 2021. Yeah. And I gave it five stars. It's really good. It's a sapphic vampire um, Dracula retelling. It's so good. And this cover, I mean, this edition is just like... Wow. The lighting in here is not great, but look at that. Look at it. Like, it's so pretty. And you can definitely find this resale. I got it off Mercari for like $30 or $40, which is not bad. And it comes in this little like green sleeve thing. So yeah, I am going to continue Hellbent. After I finish this, I'm going to read Final Offer by Lauren Asher. And then I'm going to read Chain of Thorns by Cassandra Clare. I have two copies of Chain of Thorns that are supposed to be coming. Whichever one comes first is the one I'm going to read. I will keep you posted on my progress on this book. Loving it so far. I'm only 100 pages in, but it's actually like the vibes are so good. I forgot a package, so we're gonna open it. I know what this is, and it's not bookish, but I'm really excited because, well, I mean, they may or may not work out. I bought a pair of grandma shoes. So we're going to Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure for our anniversary. I mean, I think that these are freaking cute, okay? Like, I know the brand is not like cool, but you know what? My feet are gonna be feeling really fucking cool. Look at that. <laughs> I need to try them on to see if they fit. I think these will be super comfortable. So let's try them on. Oh my gosh, they already feel so good. They're hideous. They're hideous? Yeah. Why? They're like old lady shoes. They are old lady shoes. <laughs> I think they're cute. I like them. I'm gonna keep them. Look at that. That's cute. I don't know what he's talking about. They're cute. So now that I've got my granny shoes, I actually really like them. I have a big foot because I'm just gonna keep blowing his nose. And I have a big foot. So I got an I think I have nine and a half. Um I mean yeah, I wear a nine and a half. At least I think they're cute. Because that's what matters. I literally have this live show to go to in like five minutes. I need to hurry up. Okay, I wanted to show you guys this setup that I have. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty awesome. So I have this little like treadmill thing. It's like a walker. You can only walk on it. You're not supposed to run because it's like so lightweight. So my husband bought me this stand thing. I don't know if I can do it with one hand, but this um, expands so you can fit like different kinds of tablets and stuff. And then you just like pop your Kindle in there. This is adjustable so you can like move this, adjust it however you want it. But I basically 
for lunch every single day. I walk for one hour. I mean, this is not turned on right now, but I'm about to take my lunch break. I just walk here and I really want the like thing that you attach here and then you have like a remote, um, but it's sold out. So this is what I do for now. And I just like tap the screen. I mean, it does wobble a little bit whenever you tap it, but honestly, like the best invention ever. I'm obsessed with this. I will have it linked below. It's so good. I don't know how much it was. Jake surprised me with it. Right now it's almost noon. So around noon every day, I take a lunch break. I fill this up with water. I turn on my treadmill. I put on tennis shoes and I read my Kindle. And I'm actually like, I can, I pay attention so much more to this if I'm reading it versus an audiobook. I've tried to listen to audiobooks and walk. It makes my walk feel so much longer. That's what I'm about to do right now. Today is Thursday. I've just been working and stuff. Here's my puppies. So they look like Wednesday and Enid. Enid from um, the show Wednesday, if you haven't watched it. That's Zelda. That's Leia. They're both sleepy. We have um, like a space heater because it's like 35 degrees outside and raining. I want to update you on final offer. I am so obsessed so far. I read, I stayed up late last night. I got it to page 258. So good. I am obsessed. I've been highlighting like the whole entire book. Anyway, that's my update for now. I haven't read any more of Hellbent, still sitting here, but I will read that. Okay, today is Sunday. I ended up finishing Hellbent yesterday. I've actually been sick. Friday, I took a walk and then I felt extremely sick like all day. Saturday, I just didn't feel good. And then last night, like I was just like, what's not well? I was under the weather. So I was gonna vlog today, but I'm still just feeling like poop. Anyways, I was gonna go to Barnes & Noble today to pick this book up, but I thought about it and I'm like, let me just stay home. I'm gonna start it today. This is the worst vlog ever. I'm sorry. XOXO Gossip Girl. Puppies, they're doing well. That's Jake's booty. He's doing yard work. The tree is going down. I took off all of the ornaments and the lights and everything. I just cannot take it apart. I mean, I probably could do it if I tried, but it's just easier for him to do it because he's tall. I'm gonna read now. Hello. Okay, so today is Monday. I'm currently on my lunch break. I just filmed a review for Final Offer, so that video should be up on my channel. If you want to know my thoughts on this book, go watch that video. It is spoiler free. Final Offer, infinity out of five stars. So good. I did end up finishing Hellbent. I finished this on Saturday. I finished Final Offer on Friday. I pr prioritized this over Hellbent just because I was way more excited for this than I was Hellbent. I ended up giving Hellbent three and a half stars. It was good. I loved the first like couple hundred pages and then somewhere along the way I just found myself being like I'm not in the mood for this anymore. But I am a more so a character driven story type gal. It kind of lost my interest there. I really don't have anything to say other than the plot was so convoluted and like confusing and half the time I was like I have no idea what's going on. I'm just here for the vibes. Vibes were 10 out of 10, but the plot, I, I didn't care for it much. I just wanted more time with the characters. I wanted more time with, now there was character development. I'm not saying there wasn't, but I'm just saying, for me personally, I could have had a little more of that. And I'm currently reading Chain of Thorns by Cassandra Clare. I'm, I'm reading it on my Kindle because I already have two copies pre-ordered. Uh, they're both special editions. One is from Fairy Loot, I think. 
I think. And then the other is from Litjoy Crate. So I didn't want to buy a third copy. So I'm just reading it on my Kindle. Um, I mean, technically that is a third copy, but it's not a physical copy. It won't take up space. So yeah, I'm reading it and I'm really enjoying it so far. Now, okay. It's very character driven. So if you don't like character driven fantasy, you are not going to vibe with Cassie Clare because it's that's pretty much all it is is character driven there is a plot to her stories like it's all like demon hunting and shit like that Sh shadow hunter world if you're familiar with that that's what it is so in the first hundred pages i was like is this gonna be all banter i started it yesterday and i was reading it for a couple hours and then i was like okay i'm not really in the mood for this anymore like it's kind of putting me to sleep <laughs> so then i started doing other things and then as soon as I went back to it, I was like, okay, I'm loving this. You just have to love the characters to enjoy the book. I love Cassandra Clare's shadow hunter banter so much when they're all like scheming and talking about like the enclave and like the institutions and shit like that. I, I love it. It's, it feels so nostalgic to me and I just love all the characters. Like Magnus is in this a lot and I love Magnus and Will. Are you kidding me? Will and Tessa. You do have to read like her whole backlist to read the series because otherwise you're not really gonna know like any of the characters, but that you do you if you don't wanna read all the books, like whatever, you're just gonna be like a little lost. Um, Cause it, they do tie in, like the Dark Artifices also ties into this series, like the plot ties into it a lot actually. Well, not a lot, but like significantly. Um, so I know the backstory on that. Um, anyway, it's great so far. It's a lot more banter than I was expecting. I'm not mad about it though, because I do love the characters. So I'm on chapter 13. I'm on page 236. So I didn't read a ton yesterday, but I read enough to like make a good dent into the book. I'm here for the vibes. I'm here for the Shadowhunter story. And the cover is just literally so gorgeous. Whoever designed the cover to this book literally deserves like 50% of the proceeds from book sales. I've seen so many people who have never read Shadowhunter series be like, I want to read her entire backlist just so I can read that book. Okay, so I have some packages I want to unbox. This one I'm super excited for. I know what it is. Got it to match my best friend Hannah. I love it. And I, whenever I saw her wear it, I was like, I want to wear it too. This is from Etsy. How cute is that? And I got it super duper large because I have another sweater cr uh, crew neck that I purchased from Magnolia Parks. And I'm telling you, I wear that shit every single day. It is so comfortable. Like it's just so big and cozy. So that's why I bought this one in such a big size. And it's really good quality. <laughs> I like the quality. I've ordered some stuff off Etsy before that has been very questionable. As much as I love the off-campus series and Briar U L Kennedy, whatever, my sweater that is the Briar U hockey, it's not good quality. Like it came with piles on it. This doesn't have any piles. If you know what piling is, it's when your sweater after you wear it like has like these little balls of like lint. It came with that and the lettering is so like when you look up close, it's just not good quality and it's very, very thin. I digress, whatever. The quality of this is really good. So um, I was skeptical. So I made Hannah give me like a whole video like close up on her <laughs> hoodie. That's how psychotic I am because I'm like, if I'm going to spend money on a crew neck or whatever like I want it to be good quality speaking of I am wearing you can hardly see it but that's why I think it's so cute because it's very subtle this crew neck it says probably reading Sarah J Mass. um I love this so much I'm obsessed I have a crew neck addiction truly but I have gotten rid of some like I did like a declutter and I got rid of three or four of my hoodies and things like that and then I have this package which is not bookish so just a warning. I just think it's fun. Like I like seeing other people's mail. So I'm just going to show you guys what I ordered. So this is from Brewmate. Oh, I forgot that I ordered. Okay. So this is the top. Like I got like a pink one, I guess. Oh, they were sold out. The, the one that to match this, but I think it'll be cute. So one of my new year's resolutions was to go back to drinking protein shakes and I, I was a little intoxicated one night and I ordered this off the, their website because it had sold out and I really, really wanted it. A week later, I got a notification saying that they had restocked and then I was like, 
well, I'll have to buy it. And I have purchased a protein powder that I really, really love. It has like an agitator and that is just to like mix the powder really well. But how cute is this? It's like the white leopard. Um, you can hold it like this. I do not go to the gym. I walk. That's my workout. Um, and I used to lift weights. I don't really do that anymore. I should. I need to get back into that. But yeah, this is just like a shaker tumbler thing for your shakes or like pre-workout, whatever. Super cute. And then you can switch out the top to be like a normal drinking top. So I also got this. And this is really cute. So... No, I did not get it. Oh wait, yes I did. I was like, wait, there's no way I got this. I didn't realize it came with a top. This is a can cooler. You can put like Coke cans in it. You're supposed to freeze this and then you pop it in the bottom so that like your Coke can sticks out, that makes sense. Okay, I have my Monster. The flavor I'm drinking today is Ultra Watermelon. It's really good. You just put it in there like that. Is that really how it goes? I do feel like it's a little loose cute and it's supposed to just like keep your drink cold that's all the mail and that's all the reading updates I have for now this week I'll be reading Chain of Thorns I believe Friday is the 10th and that's when Powerless comes out Powerless by Elsie Silver I want to read that like immediately and then on the 14th I want to read Saving Six so like my TBR is set like for the next at least week and a half and I'm super excited for those books so I will keep you guys posted hello guys it has been a week and I have not vlogged I have reasons for this I have a lot to update you guys on like reading wise and like life stuff the other day Monday night my dog, Leia, had a seizure and I've never experienced that before and it was really, really scary. She is okay. I've taken her to the vet and she's gotten blood work and she's gotten checked out and the vet said to just keep an eye on her. They said that sometimes dogs just have them and they're sometimes not a reason why. Like she didn't get into any toxins or anything like that or we didn't change her food. Like. Nothing has changed. Um, I'm home majority of the time, so like I'm with her. It, anyway, it was really, really scary. I had just gotten done editing and posting a video and I went to sit down on the couch. I was probably sat down for a couple minutes and then um, Jake was like, Leia, why are you laying so weird? And then I like perked up and I was like, what, is she okay? Like what's wrong? And he was like, oh no, she's fine. She's just laying weird and I was like, okay like I was like okay and then like I went back on my phone and then probably I don't even know how long, much longer maybe like 30 seconds or a minute I'm not really sure Jake was like Leo what's wrong and so when I heard him say that I immediately got up and I went to her and I was like oh my god she's having a seizure and Jake was like no at her something's wrong with her back leg and I was like like I was panicking, but I just like knew I was like, this is this is a seizure like <laughs> and I had never seen it before, but it just felt like it. But then so then we thought like something was wrong with her back leg. Like I wasn't thinking straight. So then like it probably lasted for oh God, it felt like forever. I don't know. Um, it wasn't too long, but whenever it stopped, I just held her in my lap for a while. Um, and then about two hours later or an hour and a half later, because I told Jake to put on a, sh a movie and then I didn't pay attention to the movie whatsoever. I was literally just like watching my dog the whole time. After the movie finished, Jake got up to take our other dog out and he went and got the treat jar and he opened up the treat jar and Leia jumps up out of my lap like nothing ever happened. And that's how I knew. I was like, it was 100% a seizure because Jake didn't think it was. He thought something was... I mean, after he had said that, I was like, okay, something's wrong with her leg because it legitimately looks like she was trying to get up. And that's kind of like what a seizure looks like. It looks like the dog is like, I mean, it depends on what kind of seizure it is, but yeah, so it was really scary, but she's okay. We are not putting her on anti-seizure medication just because she's only had one. So if she has more than one, if she starts having them, then that's something that we're definitely going to like look into, but... For now, she's okay. Anyway, so that's that backstory for anyone who cares. Um, 
so it was just like a stressful week i mean we've always treated our dogs like they own us <laughs> rather than the other way around but we're doing it even more so like we're just really paying attention to everything that she does. I'll update you guys on my reading. I do have my very last fairy loot box to open. I've said this before because I've canceled my fairy loot box before and then I've like gotten it again, but like I mean it this time. I am done with fairy loot. It's nothing against the company. The books are always gorgeous. The boxes are always amazing. I'm just, I've not been reading young adult fantasy. So I cannot justify this purchase every month. It's a reoccurring purchase. I just can't justify it, but we're gonna open it up. First, I will update you on my reading. Today, I read Powerless by Elsie Silver, and it was amazing. My first instinct was like, okay, it's five stars because of how cute it was. Follow Sloane and Jasper, and Jasper is this like really broody, quiet uh, hockey player. Do I need to say anything else? Do I? He's quiet, he's broody, and he's a hockey player. It's also a bit of a small town romance because it is part of this like Chestnut Springs series by Elsie Silver, which is all, they're all small town romance. So anyway, in the beginning of the book, she has an arranged marriage with this guy who is kind of like a in business with her dad and she doesn't want to marry him. And in the beginning of the book, she's about to marry him. Like she has a wedding. Her mother-in-law has like planned out this whole wedding and it's like nothing that she wants so her best friend Jasper oh yeah so it is best friends to lovers well childhood best friends to lovers basically one of my all-time favorite tropes like I love that anyway so she doesn't want to marry this guy and Jasper kind of sees that and so he rescues her from this wedding and they you know go off or whatever and then at some point there's like something that he has to do in another town so he's gonna go on this like road trip or whatever to this other town and then she's like oh i'm going with you they're like best friends but it's oh my god i was obsessed with their relationship it was so freaking cute the banter the tension there was one spicy scene that i was not a fan of and i'm not gonna spoil it but it's this car scene it just felt I just didn't like it. Other people are probably gonna love it, but for some reason, the things that he said, I was just like, I'm not, no. Some of the spicy scenes felt a little out of character for Jasper, but like, look, it was really good. I kind of knew I was gonna love this one just because of the tropes. And I heard that like they go on this road trip and the road trip is so cute. And like they stay at these hotels, you know, like one room, that kind of thing. Really, really cute. That's all I have to say about that. Okay, this is so random, but I wanted to update you guys on my roommate situation just quickly. But this thing is what you need. So this is what holds the can in place. And I don't have a can right now or I would show you because whenever I like put my can in it the other day, it was wobbly. It's because I didn't have this. I have been using the shaker. I've been using it for this like Skittle water. If you don't know what Skittle water is, oh my gosh, my friend Candace got me on this. It's so freaking good. It, it tastes like Skittles. Oh my God, I completely forgot to update you guys. I finished Chain of Thorns. Yes, I did. <laughs> I ended up loving it. Um, it is really long. I liked it more than the second book. I did not like it more than Chain of Gold. The Shadowhunter books to me are so special. Like the reasons I love them so much is because talking about the Institute and like the runes and like the demon, I just, I just love all of it. And I love all the banter and I love all the characters. And I just really, really loved the plot in this one. So that's my update on Chain of Thorns. I still do not have a physical copy. I read it completely on my Kindle. The cool thing though, whenever I purchased it on my Kindle, Amazon was like, oh, add the audiobook for a discounted price. So I ended up getting the audiobook and the audiobook is so freaking good. I don't think I could have read it as fast as I did if I hadn't had the audio. I was like reading along. I can, there's no way in hell I can listen to a Shadowhunter book on audio. The reason Cassandra Clare books in particular are hard on audio for me is because all the different plot points. Oh my God, I am talking so freaking much. What I'm trying to say is I listened along with the audio and it was really, really good. So no regrets there. I did read it on my Kindle, still waiting on my physical copy. Blah, 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 blah. I feel like I'm talking so freaking much. Let's open up this box. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is actually so cute. It's a sleeping mask. How cute is that? And it's like really soft too. Is this a scrunchie? It's a We Hunt the Flame scrunchie. Interesting. Hmm. 
So this is a collection of magical tomes. Interesting. Oh, this is so cute. I love these. I love this so much. You put stuff inside of it. This is so cute. It says, A Beginner's Guide to, to Portal Magic. Okay, and then we have this little thing. Okay, so this is a pin. Like a chameleon? I think it's a chameleon. Okay, so the enamel pin is for Stardust Thief. Okay, and then we have the book. I don't know what book it is. Um. What? Spice Road? Oh, that's really pretty. That is, there's a lot going on, but that is really cool. Whoever controls the spice controls the kingdom itself. Okay, and then there's like that character. I'm not gonna lie. I don't love the title. The cover is interesting. Um, the stenciled edges are very busy. It's just very, very busy but I can admire the work that went into it. Which is very busy. I'm about to look up reviews for that book because I wanna see if it has good or bad reviews. Spice Road. Okay, it's got 3.94. I have some friends who have given it four and five stars. There's a one star. The original cover is not cute. The original cover looks similar to that cover, but just like different colors. Not a fan, but whatever. Um, okay, so these are the tarot cards. This is, I can already tell, I don't need to even look it up. This is Jax and Evangeline from Once Upon a Broken Heart, and I love these. So yeah, that's my, uh, oh, and I did read another book I haven't updated you guys on. Optimist Guide to Heartbreak. I did not like it. It's a no. And I don't count DNFs towards my reading goal. I just don't. I mark them as read on Goodreads and depending on how far I got, I might rate them. I'm not rating this one just because I didn't get that far and that I just like looked up all the spoilers so I know exactly what happens. And I know what happens in the second book. So I didn't like the characters. And I, as soon as I could tell like where it was going. In the beginning, like she keeps mentioning how she was like in the hospital for something. I don't know. It's like this grumpy sunshine, but it's also childhood friends to strangers. And she so shows up at his job to like work for him. And then she doesn't like recognize him. And I was like, you know that that's his place where he works and you don't what you don't recognize him like that didn't make sense to me anyway so i wasn't like feeling it so i stopped reading and then i looked up spoilers and i jennifer hartman is like well loved and i've loved her some of her other books but this one this duet it's just like the covers are gorgeous but it's just not gonna be for me but yeah that's that. Anyways, I will update you guys soon. Today is Friday, so I'm just like gonna chill out, watch some You. Currently on season four. No, I'm currently on season three so that I can watch season four of You and it is so freaking good. I'm obsessed. I've like kind of snuck my husband into watching it with me because he didn't think he would like it, but then I, I keep putting on episodes and I'm like, can I just watch one? And then he was like gotten sucked into it. So I love that for me. That's all for now. Oh. Okay, she's pretty. Sorry, this I was like picking this up and then I just saw that this was like inside the little booklet thing. I'm gonna shut up now. You don't know what you do to me between me and you. I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Love you can't be replaced. So now Hello, I have some book mail and some reading updates. Saving Six is my current read. This was one of my most anticipated reads for February, well, for 2023, among the most anticipated. So I started it and I'm currently 148 pages into it. 
I'm loving it so far. Sorry, I'm like hot right now. I should probably take off my sweater, but <laughs> it's really good so far. If you're not aware of keeping 13 and binding 13 or binding 13, wait, Finding 13 and Keeping 13, that duet is literally amazing. If you like contemporary romance that includes like mundaneness, this series is just everything. I mean, it's very emotional and trigger warnings for parental abuse and stuff and alcoholism because Shannon's dad is an alcoholic. Anyway, this one doesn't follow Shannon. This one follows Joey and Aoife and Joey is Shannon's her big brother. Yeah, it's just really good. I love Joey so freaking much um, This has good girl bad boy forced proximity. It's set in school So it's like a sports romance like a high school sports romance set in Ireland and it's just so freaking good It's also friends to lovers because Aoife and Joey are friends and it's like literally so cute and also boss's daughter because he works, like whenever they meet, um, he doesn't work for her dad, but then he ends up working for her dad. Sorry if you can hear background noise, my husband's cooking. <laughs> um, so he ends up working for her dad, says like, don't think about being with my daughter, like you work for me and that's not gonna happen. So he makes it very clear to Aoife that they're not going to get together, but like she is not having it and it's so freaking cute. Like I am literally obsessed with them. Aoife is so funny like she doesn't take no for an answer and she's very much like overbearing and persuasive that's the word I was looking for she's very persuasive I feel like he Joey is completely whipped and I'm just again I'm only 140 150 pages basically into this and I just I love it so much now these are really long books but I'm telling you if you like romance if you like contemporary romance you will love these books they are very emotional and they're very heavy but they have the best banter like literally so good the only other thing i can compare it to is the addicted series and i only say that because there's so much character development because they're so long this book is is everything so far I'm really loving it and it's giving five star vibes. The first two in the series were definitely five stars. And this one is definitely headed that way. It's not what I was expecting necessarily because the beginning of this book, the events occur before the events of Keeping 13 or Binding 13. It's from a completely different perspective and it's got a completely different plot, different characters. Shannon and Johnny haven't even shown up yet. They've been mentioned. Well, Johnny has not been mentioned yet, but Shannon has been mentioned a couple times now just because like, you know, that's Joey's sister. But yeah, anyway, I'm obsessed and I will probably continue to talk your ear off in this vlog about this book. But for now, let's open some book mail. I think I know what these are and so I wanted to open them on camera because it's kind of special to me. Um, I just wanna make sure I get the, the notes. Grace Riley very very sweet of this author sent me the first two books in her series so the first one is called first down it's definitely a sports romance and breakaway there's like a little book stack and a cat on this one so i don't know what sport this one oh okay i think she's a ice skater Wait. Oh, this one is hockey oh my god i cannot wait and these covers are so freaking cute like Wow, thank you so, so much. I love these covers. Look at the spines, oh my gosh. I am gonna post about these on my Instagram immediately. I thank you so much. Like, I'm so excited to read these. And I don't really get sent books by authors very often. So whenever I do, I take it very seriously. Okay, and then this one is also kind of like a PR package. So this is from Valentine PR. They always have the cute pink packaging. Okay, I'm excited to see what this is. The Suit by Lulu Moore. Well, my camera is about to die, so I need to hurry up. 
but this one is contemporary romance. It's billionaire. It's enemies to lovers and workplace romance. So I'm super excited to read this. I'm going to charge my battery and then I'll talk to you guys later. Today is Saturday and we're going out to dinner for someone's birthday and then tomorrow is Super Bowl Sunday. So I'm going to a Super Bowl party. Keep you guys posted on my reading. Thank you so much Valentine PR for sending this to me. That is my update for now and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hello. You're probably wondering what is going on back here. Well, I'm about to film a book haul, but I wanted to update you guys on my reading really quick. Um, a book unhaul, not a book haul. Okay, anyways, I finished Saving Six last night. Wow. This book is traumatic as fuck, okay? It's just like, wow, very emotional. I give it five stars. Uh, I love Joey Lynch. I would die for him. I love Aoife. Also, if you're wondering if Gibbsy shows up, he has one scene. He shows up one time and it was pure perfection. It was so good. I love Gibbsy so much. Yeah, I gave this five stars. It's so good. If you haven't read the first two books and you like contemporary romance, read it. No. You have to like emotional romances because it's really emotional. It's just very angsty and sad, but it also has like really funny moments. Now I will say there were more funny moments in uh, Shannon and Johnny's books than this one. The next book comes out March, I think 13th or something like that. And it's Redeeming Six, so it's the next book for Aoife and Joey. I'm really excited for that because this does end on a cliffhanger, but the next one comes out in March. So I only have to wait like a month. Um, which isn't too bad, like I can't complain. Like waiting one month, normally you have to wait like an entire year for the next book. So anyways, I'm really excited. I think she had them pre-written. These were, this one was actually published, I think in 2018 and it got pulled or something like that. Or she had originally planned it to be published in that year and then it just like didn't happen. I'm not really quite sure on the details, but really good. I just kind of like wanted to jump on here and say that I really really loved this and yeah so I'm, I'm about to film a book unhaul for the first time ever. I have not done one before so honestly it's good that I'm finally doing this because this is desperately needed. As you can see all these books I need to get rid of. That's a lot. This is a lot of books. Hello. <clears throat> oh my god. <sighs> wow. Okay. Um Hello, good morning. It is Saturday, currently 10.20 a.m. I am uh, sprinting with my friends. We're doing like these like slumber party sprints. I am 92 pages into To All The Boys I Loved Before. This is like crooked. It's getting really good. The first like 50 pages I was like, all right, it's fine. It's cute, it's YA, but now it's gotten to like the good part like the juicy part where her letters get sent out that she wrote whenever she was like younger or like whatever so it's really cute so far currently sprinting if i can show you the worst angle ever sprinting for the next couple hours i have a birthday party to go to later my husband's currently making birthday cakes for our friend and i'll show you guys what those look like because it should be pretty cute i don't know how long this reading vlog is gonna be it's gonna be like literally forever it'll be fun to edit <laughs> that's my update for now Brady Bunch. Hannah. Oh. <laughs> Did it work? There you go. Oh my God. Hannah, we're being exploited. <laughs> Hannah. <laughs> Y'all pulling out our cameras now. Yeah, I doesn't want to kiss me anymore. There's a story about a man named Brady. <laughs> <laughs> Make a heart. What's perfect? That's so cute. <laughs> ah! Wait. Cammy! 
Okay, so I just got off reading sprints. We sprinted for five and a half hours. It was so much fun. Um, I got to page 250. Out of the five and a half hours, I think we probably sprinted for like maybe three and a half. Like we did a good chunk of reading. So maybe three and a half, four hours. I'm not really sure, but that was so fun. Now I'm gonna go get changed, go to my friend's birthday party. <laughs> We have book mail. This book mail has been sitting in my office for probably a month now. It's time to open these babies up. And I definitely know what it is. so weird okay so we are going to open up these so that I can put my new Dutch jackets on oh my god it's so heavy I'm so weak by the way I know everyone's been freaking out over a Stanley cup Look, I'm not gonna pay $100 for a cup to get the color that I want. So I got the dupe off Amazon. It w I paid like $25. Cause I wanted a pink one, but the pink Stanley cups are like $100. People are like trying to resell them and I'm like, and now I am not the one. Go on Amazon, it's literally just as good, if not better, cause it's cheaper. It holds a lot of water. I think that's why people like them. It has a little thing and it holds a lot of water. Anyway, let's get back to the books, shall we? I have these dust jackets that I've been dying to open. It's actually really hard. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, this is like my least favorite thing. Getting the dust jackets out without damaging them. I'm like, why is that so hard? such a fucking weirdo. Okay, I'm just gonna take these out. I don't think you can see what I'm doing. Also, <laughs> let's just like, oh my god, this is a freaking mess. I'm gonna have a bookshelf organization video at some point. I do not keep my bookshelves organized. That's a problem. It's because like every time I film a wrap up or like do a book haul, I'm really, really bad about putting them on my shelves, like right then and there. And then it just like piles up and then I get overwhelmed. So then I just like never do it. This is the poster that comes with the box set. Some of these are a little damaged, but I don't care. Like, oh my God, it smells so good. So I'm gonna take off these dust jackets and I will save them just in case. These smell so much better than the paper. The paper must have changed because these smell literally amazing. You know what it is? It's the same paper that they use for a quarter silver flames. I noticed this kind of stuff. Not that it's important, but it, it's important to me. This one's like so skinny, Crown of Midnight. I'm actually currently rereading Crown of Midnight. One thing that drives me insane is that these dust jackets do not have scores on them and that they're thin. They're not like dust jacket, like the thickness of dust jackets. Like these are thin and cause the, I have the Akatar dust jackets that are like the same and they're just so thin. I hope these, fit because maybe I should use my other I feel like these are so much thinner am I crazy okay I am not crazy this is my original of Assassin's Blade and this is the new one it is significantly skinnier like the new versus the old I feel like these dust jackets are not gonna fit these skinny ass books. I know for a fact my Crown of Midnight copy is not this skinny. This is the new, this is the old. It's significantly skinnier. That's gonna drive me insane because these dust jackets I'm pretty sure are made for like the thicker version. So I'm just gonna put them on the thicker version. Okay, 
now the new Empire of Storms is thicker than the old one. So that's like opposite of what the other books have been. That is so strange to me. Tower of Dawn is also thicker. This is my original Tower of Dawn and this is the new version. It's much thicker. I just finished putting all of them on. So let me just show you. Here is Assassin's Blade. There's the back. The Throne of Glass. Crown of Midnight. This is the only one that I don't care for the cover. I feel like they could have spent a little bit more time to make her arms a little bit more like angled because I don't know. I mean it is a pretty cover. I do like it. I'm just saying I do prefer all the other ones. I think this one's my favorite. Air of Fire. Like are you kidding me? I am obsessed with the green and then Manon on the back. Yes. That one's probably my favorite. Queen of Shadows is also freaking stunning. Empire of Storms. Tower of Dawn is really pretty. Like, oh my gosh, all the colors in the back there. And then last but not least, Kingdom of Ash. This cover is stunning with the blue. And then, oh my god. <laughs> I love, I love this. I love this so much. Yeah. Very excited. Whenever I've been rereading, I've been rereading my old copies and annotating them. So I'm kind of annoyed that they didn't fit the new copies because I do not plan on actually like using these dust jackets because y'all, they tear so easily. I used them for Akatar and actually tore it whenever I was rereading Akawar and I was not happy about it. Like it's not like a bad tear but it's like enough to just like upset me where I was like cool. They tear so easily so I'm not actually going to use these dust jackets but I'm kind of annoyed because whenever I do my reread I was using my old copies so now I think I'm just going to like change to the new copies. I had already started annotating my old copies so now I'm kind of like do I just start annotating the new copies? I know this is not like a big deal but this is something that like bothers me <laughs> like, uh, uh. I'm gonna put these on the shelves now and then I'll show you what they look like we're like excited oh my god they look amazing they are so beautiful okay <laughs> oh, I almost just fell down oh my god I, I, I I'm speechless like they're so freaking pretty. <laughs> They're like a rainbow with the holographic lettering. Wow. Okay, so I just realized House of Sky and Breath wasn't on the shelf, so I just added that back. But wow. Wow. It's beautiful. Yeah, so I'm really gonna have to like start filming at this angle because wow. I just have no words. Anyways, before I close out the vlog, I do have a little bit of a reading update. So I'm in the middle of Crown of Midnight. Um, the past couple days, I haven't been able to read anything. Like, I've literally been DNFing books left and right. It's quite sad. So, I was like, let me just pick up a Sergio Mass. And I'm in the middle of rereading this. I read Assassin's Blade, I think, in November. And then Throne of Glass, I think, in December. I can't remember. Whatever. So, next up is Crown of Midnight. And, yeah. I'm really enjoying it so far. Like, I just really love the atmosphere and, like, walking through the castle and just, like, Sarah's writing is so comforting. Like, I open up her books and I just feel like I'm at home. So, I really love it. <laughs> I'm realizing, I'm remembering how annoying Kale is. No offense, I don't hate Kale. Kale, whatever, however you freaking pronounce it. Kale, Kale, oh my god. Yeah, Kale. Kale. I don't hate him. I just, he's like very obnoxious and pushy. Not possessive, but more like controlling. That's what I was looking for. He's like con trying to control her and stuff. Cause I like possessive heroes, but for him, I'm just kind of like back off, back away from the woman. But I, I don't hate him. I feel like he's a good friend to her. At least like he cares. Okay. There's one thing that Kale has going for him. It's that he cares. So I am like, 130 pages into it and that is like the most I had read all week 
and I read that last night so it's not too bad. Let me know if you guys like these long reading vlogs and I will continue to do them if you made it this far into the video. You can leave a sword and a crown emoji because throne of glass. I do have these other dust jacket, throne of glass dust jackets from Nerdy Ink but these are like far superior. Now these are better quality as far as like the paper goes. The ones back here the paper is just like thicker and durable. These, not so much, but still love them and they're pretty on my shelves. Um, anyways, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and hanging out with me. I really do love doing reading vlogs, so I hope you guys liked this one. And if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.